Uh, yeah, what a what a great night, huh? Uh, Record-setting crowds, uh, and we put a good product on the field, man. We're, our kids are fun to watch. We run, uh, we smash baseballs. Pitchers attack the zone, and you know, great competition. Uh, Pitt came out here and gave us all that we can handle tonight, but uh, we've had a tendency here to score runs late in the game in our park. And uh, this is starting to turn into a pretty big home field advantage, and the crowd had a lot to do with that tonight. Coach, was tonight a story of overcoming uh, you <laughs> your own mistakes at, at, a, at a point? When you say your own mistakes, you're talking about mine personally? No, the team. Because I make a lot of them <laughs> every game. I don't believe you, Coach. <laughs> you know, th they made three errors. I don't uh, – I think maybe we had one there in the eighth inning. But, uh, you know, it's uh, – it's college baseball, man. It's any game can go uh, flip on the on a drop of a hat. You know, we go with a walk and a hit batter, and a, all of a sudden a three-run homer, and and all of a sudden it's a game again when we thought we had it in, uh, under control. So, kudos to our guys. You know, momentum goes back and forth during a baseball game from dugout to dugout a lot. And when they hit the homer, they grabbed it, and then they go lead off triple. We got a guy in the mound that that hasn't pitched in that situation much, but boy did he, boy did he get good when he needed to get good. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, uh, we we scored when we needed to, man. That's what we've been doing lately. Kevin Brophy's had some some timely hits for you here uh, t tonight, some timely at bats. How can he become more consistent for you? Man, that's, that's the million dollar question, right? But uh, that, that's a great lesson for all young kids watching that uh, don't get caught up in your batting average, man. Batting average is the biggest confidence killer in the history of statistics. You know, you could, even if you're a great hitter, you're still making seven outs out of ten. You know, if you get caught up in your average, uh, you'll you'll never feel good about yourself. But I think he's still leading the team in RBIs, and he's come up really, really big for us in big situations just like that. That's not the first time he's done that. So uh, we don't even we don't care about his batting average. He's one of the guys we wanted to play in that situation. One of your searches for several years has been a consistent midweek starter. Mm. I think has obviously really uh, filled that role for you this year. What's been the biggest key to his development? Freedom. You know, sometimes the best way to coach a guy is to to shut your mouth and just let him be who he is. You know, and I think we squeezed him a little bit last year and and. Uh, just tried to tried to turn him into a robot and just gave him some freedom to just let him be himself this year and uh, he's super super serious about what he does and uh, he has a routine that he goes through every day on game day that's really good for him and and uh, he's just he's just turned into the Nick Snyder we thought we were going to get and now the question is you know if he's uh, you know if he's one of your top three or four arms do you keep pitching them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you know. So, But these games are just as important as all of them. You know, our midweek games, that's the reason I think we can avoid the trap games that everybody else falls into because our midweek games are Pitt and Penn State and Maryland and Marshall and Virginia Tech. So uh, you don't have letdowns against really good schools like that. So uh, that's why we schedule those teams. It's great baseball, great competition, fun to watch. The crowds are into it. So it's uh, – Things are going as good as they could be going right now. I've got to ask you, Coach. Talk about the uh, the ejection of the pitcher. Uh, what did you see? That I mean, your staff hits four bat batters. He hits one, and he gets ejected. What, what, what was his? What was the umpire's thinking? I don't know. I didn't even ask him about it. Uh, I saw what everybody else saw. Guy threw a pitch and got thrown out of the game. And poor kid had to walk the whole way to the locker room and in front of our crowd. That can't be fun. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. It's hard enough to know what I'm thinking, let alone somebody else. So I don't even try and guess what other people are thinking. But there weren't any warnings given before that that you know of? That I know of, that's correct. Okay. Coach, you're one of the only teams who consistently <clears throat> plays Pitt now out of conference. Um, what was the momentum like before the game? Did you need to motivate the team any more than usual? I don't think so. When they saw the crowd filing in, you know, they knew it was going to be a big crowd and, and uh, great energy. The weather was good. Uh, you don't have to get our guys up for this game at all. Same way you don't have to get their guys up. It was a, it was a great game to watch. It's just a good college baseball game. There's some mistakes made, but good luck getting through a game without making mistakes uh, anytime. So uh, just a lot of fun to watch, man. It's, 
I, I wish I could be a fan of Mountaineer baseball. I don't get that luxury. Uh, my heart races during these games way more than the fans, but if I was a fan, I sure would have enjoyed that game. You said with all the out-of-state kids on, on your roster that maybe some of them didn't know what to expect tonight. Do you think there's any question that they get it now? <laughs> I think so. You know, I think uh, uh, it's pretty obvious after a game like that that uh, our whole community comes out and supports us and the backyard brawl, that type thing, they're starting to figure that out. You know, you don't have to tell them much. They're, it's pretty easy to see after a night like that. Coach, uh, you got series win over Oklahoma, a big win tonight, and then you got Oklahoma State and Texas Tech coming up. Is this team heating up at the right time? Yeah, I mean, you would think so, you know, but uh, as soon as you start feeling too good about yourself in this game, uh, it'll come back and haunt you every single time. So uh, you could win 12 in a row. If you feel like game number 13 is going to be easy, you're going to lose it. So there's nothing ever easy in the Big 12. And you go on the road, it makes it that much harder. So uh, we're going to feel good about this one for the next 10 or 15 minutes, but switch our focus right to the Cowboys down there in Stillwater.